Libra, welcome to your gentle love reading. I hope all is well and fabulous for you. Let me tell you something. Right before I sat down to start yours, I got an email. Ooh, I got a sponsorship opportunity I'm actually interested in. Let me tell you, I get that shit daily. And it's, it's, it's not that I'm not grateful for it. Let me tell you, it's just... It's just stuff I'm not interested in, like really flimsy, dainty jewelry. Honey, yours truly don't wear dainty jewelry. That shit just falls right off of me. Perfume, underwear, and I'm like, mm, thank you. It's, that's nice, I guess. <laughs> it's like really dainty feminine stuff, and I'm like, I don't, I don't know how familiar you are with my work. <laughs> So this one I'm actually excited about. So I'm sharing it with you. You're the first to know. Yay! And if you're on Instagram, they'll be the second to know. So if you're in, on Instagram, you want to follow me and get more of my random nonsense and tidbits and stuff about the channel as it comes up. That's Sassy Scorpion Tarot. You can't, you can't miss it. It's, there you go. I'm on Insta. All right. That's enough of that. Show me what I need to see, please, for Libra. What's going on? Show me what I need to see, please, for Libra. What's up? What's going on? Boundaries. We're setting boundaries. More or less the equivalent of the Seven of Wands. So if you have boundaries up at this time, trust that instinct. It's going to serve a purpose. But show compassion. Okay, so if Libra, honey, if you're feeling a bit like a hard ass at this time, I got things up, I got my walls up. Okay, show compassion, first of all, to yourself and possibly those around you. Sometimes you know someone can shave you the wrong way and you just don't know what's going on with them, but it kind of provokes us into boundaries or walls when maybe what they need is compassion. I don't know, we'll see, okay? Closure, all right. Okay. There is something here about softening up, man. Transformation, underline that. Let me know if you're dealing with scores. There is something here about, I would like closure. I would like some closure. Show me some compassion, please. The defenses, honey. The defenses are high. I don't know why. It might be because you really, really feel the need for closure and you wish they would show you some compassion, but your guard is up. You know, what's going on here? There's this idea of somebody's being firm when what they really need is softness. Okay, there's this idea of closure. Now, I'm going to tell you the same thing I told Gemini. Some, if we are able to get closure in this life from something or someone that hurt us, then we can get answers, and that's wonderful. It's the best. But we can't be guaranteed that. Not in this life, not in any life. Sometimes the only closure we can get is what we can provide for ourselves. Take what answers you can and go with that, okay? So, be prepared. We may not see answers or closure, okay? And even if you don't, don't let that hardness consume you. All right, be compassionate. Still, it's easier said than done. Mm. Especially if you get used to the walls, you know. Oh yeah, we can get used to those walls, yeah? They feel safe. They do. You know, it's to protect our soft bits. Unfortunately, we can get very used to those walls and tell yourself you need those walls, yes? Show me what I need to see, please. What's going on? Show me Libra, show me Libra, show me Libra, show me Libra. There's more than one energy there in your oracles. Show me Libra, show me Libra. Show me Libra, please. What's going on? What's going on? Show me Libra, please. <clears throat> Recent past, two of wands, a decision to be made. Currently, ace of pentacles, starting something new. You, two of swords, you're not convinced about it. The person surrounding you, three of wands, they're waiting on you to make up your mind. In other words, the knight of cups, four of cups, six of cups, advice, seven of swords. You got some shit you got to deal with, baby, because your overall is ten of wands. Oh, my God. Okay. You have emotional energy, you just don't know if you want to spend it on someone of the past. Of course, then that's very reasonable and rational. All right. I know that sometimes those old feelings crop up. I know. The Knight of Cups. Your romantic energy, sometimes it feels provoked by someone of the past, but uh, you don't know if you should. Four of Cups. You don't seem to be convinced. Your advice is to address your secret thoughts, the Seven of Swords. What's actually lingering back there in your, in your Librian mind, okay? Your overalls, the Nine of Wands, are quite exhausted. 
you're quite exhausted with somebody's emotional energy. What it means to you, where's it going, if it's going anywhere, why? Okay. Some of you knew in your recent past you had to start over and make good on a new offer, but you weren't convinced, you weren't decided. Someone was waiting on you. And it's looking like in the future there might still be. You still don't know if you want to get involved with someone of the past. You want to understand why you're still connected to them emotionally? Well, I can tell you for a start, you're soul bonded to them. So that doesn't make things any easier. Soul bond or not, why do you still feel the pulse of their energy? Is there really love there? And if so, how much and how far does it go? Mm. In the meantime, you continue to exercise boundaries. In other words, you don't know. So you're not going to move until you see it. You're going to keep those boundaries up until you can see what the hell you're doing or engaging in. Right. And it's exhausting. So some of you have been contemplating this energy for some time. Nine of Wands is my insanity card, doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results, and that's why you're so exhausted. But it can also mean knowing when to fight. Sometimes you have to be exhausted because you know it's worth fighting for. We're going to see which one is you. There's some low-level communication in the interim, in the meantime, between you two. Okay? All right, baby, let's do it. Let's show, let's, what's going on? Show me Libra, please. What's going on? Show me what I need to see, please. Show me what I need to see, please. Show me what I need to see, please, for Libra. Show me Libra, 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 Libra. Show me Libra, what's going on? Okay, show me Libra, please. Well, I don't even know what that was. Show me what I need to see, please. Show me what I need to see, please. What's going on? Your fairly recent past, two of wands, decision to be made, but two of swords, wow, really undecided. I don't know what to do. I understand there's a decision here, but I also don't want to deal with it. I don't know how. Okay, involving what, moving on, moving on from what or whom. Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, or home space, getting out of our comfort zone, making a decision. Something was challenging you to make a decision to move on with your life or to move forward or to get out of your comfort zone. Oh my. What is this? Mm. You have some earth in your chart. There was something in you that told you to move on, but you weren't terribly decided. You weren't terribly decided. Somebody's energy was provoking that, possibly. I have a decision to make about somebody's energy, but I don't know what to do with it. Really don't. Two of swords. Two of wands. I know there's a decision there, but I don't know what that decision should be. What do I do? Should I just move on? Should I stay in my comfort zone? Should I go out of my comfort zone? Mm. I don't know who it is, honey. I do not know who it is, but you do. Let's see this Ace of Pentacles, please. I do believe that's more likely you, seeing as how the Two of Swords is pulled up twice and your direct placement is Two of Swords. Show me this Ace of Pentacles, please. Show me this Ace of Pentacles, please. What is this? Show me this Ace of Pentacles. Show me this Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. Fuck off. Does that help you? <clears throat> okay. The Empress. Oh my. Heavy uh, Taurian energy here. It's also your power card. Holding back. Okay. We don't know what to do. And it's not just you. It's somebody else. Ace of Pentacles for Ace of Pentacles, so it's mutual. Whoever it is that you are entangled with, to some extent, neither one of you knows what to do. You both want to do something because the Pentacle is real, viable, it's physical. It exists in the real world. You both want to do something that has something to do with the real world. And that could be as simple as talking to each other. That Pentacle gets bigger and bigger the more anxiety there is in it. The more confusion there is, the bigger that Pentacle gets. So something as simple as talking to each other, okay, or meeting for coffee, that pentacle gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. The more pride is involved, the more confusion is involved, the more desire is involved, the bigger it gets, you understand me? So it's not just you, it's somebody else, and you're both withholding four of pentacles. Neither one of you knows what the fuck to do. You just know that you would like to see something happen in the real world. Um, but the thing is, we're acting cold like we don't care. Somebody's acting cold, king of swords. I don't care. I'm not holding on to shit. Yeah. No. Two people are holding on to something. Two people is holding on to something, but we also have an empress here. So, this is someone of importance to us. That's why we haven't let them go. But also, we act like we don't care. 
or we try to. We try to act like we don't care. But really, frankly, the both of you are very preoccupied about uh, seeing each other in the real world, talking to each other in the real world, but um, we can't open up and we can't see each other and I don't know why. I need to see this two of swords. Why are you so confused, by the way? What's going on? Why are you so confused here? Show me this two of swords. Show me this two of swords. Why are we so undecided? I will tell you now, you will get the expectations you set yourself up for. So if the both of you act like you don't care when you really, really do, you're both going to get a whole lot of nothing. So keep that under your hat. King of Pentacles. Jesus, Five of Pentacles. Somebody is just so disconnected, man. Oh my God. You Let me know if you've got either Taurus or Capricorn in your chart. You just pulled up two Earths on you. Oh my goodness. We're so disconnected. We're so disconnected from who it is that we want. We are so disconnected from who it is that we want that it sometimes it feels obsessive. I'm not saying it is. I'm just saying sometimes it feels that way. And that's what happens sometimes when we live in a land of indecision, refusing to make a decision. It's all we can fucking think about is that decision. The one that is refusing to be made. Time will meet itself out. If somebody here does not make a decision, time will do it for you. And you will not get what you want. You know how it is? Like if, you've, if you have kids, you know what I'm saying? You know how it is, they want all, they go, you go get some ice cream with your kid, right? They want all the flavors. They can have all the flavors. They can have one. And they can't, and they're just standing there and they're fussing and people, and they're holding up the line. So you make a decision for them and they cry later, it's not what they wanted. Then you should have said what you wanted because then you will lose by default. You don't make a decision, time will do it for you. Somebody is grossly just, I don't know what to do. And now it's all they can think about is what they don't know what to do. What is this? Thinking about what? The physical disconnect. What? What are we physically disconnected from? What is the point of contention? All I know is that the, the choice will be taken away from you if you cannot make one tower. Scorpio energy. What it is that we truly want, but we don't allow ourselves to say it. Okay. The tower. The truth of the thing. Coupled up with the stars. Aquarius. Seven of Swords. We have not fully exposed. It would require us to be vulnerable. Okay? To say what it is that we really, truly want. This is what I really, truly want. And we cannot say it. We won't say it. And that's all we can fucking think about. Why? What's holding it up? What's holding it up? I need to say this three of wands. Why can't we say what we really want? Why can't we say, this is my vision. This is what I want. This is why. This Are you, are you afraid of rejection? Why? Why? You were confronted with this decision multiple times in your past, as far as I can tell. Show me this three of wands waiting for you to make the decision. Oh my, you. Literally, they're looking at you to make the decision. This is someone you know, Six of Cups, nostalgia, someone of the past. Um, this person is looking at you, literally, judgment. They see you connected to judgment, Queen of Swords to judgment. They, this person's waiting on you, literally, to make a decision regarding the love and the soul bond connection and if it's going to mean anything at all. Okay, if it's going to mean anything at all. Um, you doubt the vision of the future with this person. It just seems so shocking. It just seems so shocking. How can it possibly be a vision? How can it be one I can obtain? How can it be one I can obtain in peace and practical? Practical seems to be a huge component for a Libra. Okay, how can I actually make this vision of the future practical? It can't be. It can't be practical. It can't have. It can't be sustaining. It can't be. It can't be. It can't be. It can't be. And if you really believe that this indecision wouldn't be here, it wouldn't be plaguing you. It wouldn't be haunting you. I'm sorry, Libra. But you know, every sign gets pissed off with me from time to time, and I guess it's going to be your turn. Because all the indecision, this it can't be true, is falling under your placement. It's to the point where you can't stop thinking about it, you know. And I am looking at a Libra who has confronted it several times that um, there's a decision to be made here in love and in life. Um, you both want to offer each other and you both refrain. For somebody it's an active decision. It's an active decision. Um, 
It's I'm looking at Libra who seriously doubts the long term future with this person and they're waiting. Literally they say the decision is Libra's. They that's really their interpretation of their energy. They have love for you. It's the six of cups. And it's here twice now. Um, why? What's the problem? What's the problem here with the energy? What's the problem? Your boundaries, honey. Boundaries. So I do believe the person surrounding you does want closure. But you're showing boundaries or pushing away, um, deflecting, deflecting the decision. Show me. What is the problem here? Taking a chance, being the fool. You've thought about it a thousand times. It's like you just don't have it in you. Some of you are afraid to reach for your own personal sense of happiness and freedom and independence. Uh -huh. Some of you are very much afraid to reach for your own sense of it. It would require taking a risk, first of all, and that's scary, right? It's scary. It's a decision, again, and you are aware of it. It causes you anxiety, but it would also make you so very happy. They rule each other out. There's the duality here of taking a risk on this person who very much would love an answer from you. Can you take a risk on me, Libra? Uh, I have feelings for you. We're six of cups. We've known each other a long time. And some of you are just the nine number, double nine. Okay, so for some of you, September is a marker. But for others of you, that willingness to reach out and extend outside of yourself to be independent Okay, the, the one who can say, yes, I'm the decision maker in this. Yes, I can take that leap of faith. That is what some of you struggle with, is your own sense of independence. Okay. Um, what's going on here? Show me what I need to see, please. Your emotional energy. Some of this emotional energy. Your Knight of Cups has the possibility to go directly towards the Six of Cups, but your emotional confusion is in between those two things. Show me what I need to see, please. Some of this nice cups, four swords in reverse. We're coming out of silence. You're still not terribly sure about the lover's energy. Very strong, powerful connection here. Okay. You're coming out of silence. I do know that. You're still not convinced about the lover's energy. Okay. You don't know if you can commit to this new love. All right. You're still not convinced. But... Let's take a look. I just know that you're coming out of silence. Let's see what you say or do. Okay. Dude, seriously, what? Okay. Queen of Pentacles, you're not see the security thing. Some of you just don't feel secure. But you are coming out of silence. You want to move forward. You want to come out of the disconnect. Okay. 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 Let me just clarify the seven swords real quick. Oh my, I'm, I don't think I'm going to upset some folks with this one. Well, let's see here. Seven of swords. Seven of swords in reverse, so no secret. Okay. Temperance. Sag. Okay. Okay. Surprise. Okay. And Nine of Wands. Okay. I don't know how, again, real terror, real life, and I'm seeing somebody's real story here. So if it offends you, it's not for you. There's no reason for you to get offended by something that's not yours. So why would you? That's a choice. Don't choose to be offended when it's not for you. And even if you do resonate with it, then I'm not telling you anything that's news to you. This is not a surprise to you. Um... Here's the deal. You've been confronted with somebody else's energy for some time, a decision that's been delayed, and you've told yourself repeatedly to move on from it. We could not get out of our comfort zone, or simply we are with another partner, a primary partner. Um, we also don't know how to let this person go. You both want to offer each other something ace of pentacle in the physical world, uh, but we have coldly refrained an active decision here. Um, it would give us pleasure to connect with this person, but it would require taking a risk, a leap of faith, and communicating what it is that we want. And Libra, what it is that you would like 
with this person, at least from what I am seeing, okay, is that uh, you would like a lover's energy with this person, but without the commitment. The Two of Cups is in reverse. I don't want a soul contract with you. I have feelings for you, but I don't want a soul contract with you. I would like us to be lovers. You're coming out of silence. Um, and the thing is, it was your biggest, your advice here is the Seven of Swords, confront your secret. And the thing is, it's, it's, it's the secret is out. Okay, your swords are now in the reverse. Um, if you're with a primary partner, the passion's not there or something like that. Um, but you still have love for that particular home situation. It's just the passion's gone, okay? And it could literally be with a Sag or a Scorp. Um, it would have to be a secret. It would have to be a secret connection. That's who I'm speaking to, so again, if it's not yours, don't accept it. We do the real shit. And I can see the delay then. I'm looking at a labor who insists they don't know how to bridge a future with this person. The other ones surrounding you, they're literally waiting on you to make the decision because they do love you and they are soul bonded to you and they're literally waiting on your decision. More like communication, any sort of communication from you about what it is that you want. Because up until this point, you really didn't know how to articulate. I don't want to let you go. I want us to be lovers. I don't want us to be disconnected, but also we can't be soul contracted. Okay. Um, it's under your moon energy, but the truth is out at some point. It does look like uh, somebody has accepted the fact that the passion is out in their primary commitment, but there's still love there in that household. Okay. Um, how much this person knows, I don't know, but I'm assuming they know something about your home life. All right. Nine of Wands, let's take a look. Show me that Nine of Wands. Um, mm. uh, show me the Nine of Wands, please. Show me. Show me that Nine of Wands, please. You're tired of fighting what you really want, the vision. You want some fire back, Queen of Wands. Okay. You want some uh, fire back. You're tired of fighting the vision. Okay. You're not able or wanting to let this person go. They represent um, that passion or that love that you no longer have or can have access to in your primary commitment. Okay. You're going to communicate. It took a long time. This was obviously not an overnight process for some of you. This took years to lead up to this decision in full closure, disclosure. Um, I want us to be lovers. And I was confused about it for a very long time. And I didn't know how to say or expect you to understand, okay, I didn't, you weren't expecting compassion, is that it? You weren't expecting compassion from this person. You thought they would be mean to you if you said, this is what I, this is, I'm in something and I can't leave it or I feel I can't. I still love this person, but I don't have any passion with them. Or they don't have any passion for me, I don't know. But I would like to be a lover with you. We just can't have a soul contract. You know? If they're amenable or not, I don't know. But uh, your overall energy frees up when it finally speaks its truth. Okay. 
What happens after that, I don't know. You didn't think they'd have compassion for you? If anything, when you tell them the truth, I know that they will get some sort of closure because their energy is 100% waiting on you for a decision. Um, they see you as the decision maker. The Queen of Swords is literally attached to judgment. They see you as the decision maker. Um, so if anything, it would provide them some closure very soon. Okay. Discussion coming very soon. Healing family issues. Mm. Love yourself first. Put your truth out there. Past life relationship. Yeah, I would think so. Six of cups twice plus uh, the lover's energy. You two have known each other, at least on a spirit, of course, and you have passion for each other. It's just, as far as I can tell, hasn't been expressed. You both want more. Uh, it's just been an unanswered question up until this point. Okay. It's a past life. Whether or not you believe in that, that's entirely up to you. I understand if you don't. Just take it as you've known each other a very long time. They will be surprisingly compassionate, I think, if you told them what was on your mind and why it was so difficult for you to say what it is that you want. You didn't want to offend them. You didn't want them to be angry. Um, but that, but this is what you know to give, something like that. Okay. Yeah. Libra, I'm sorry this one was so difficult. Like I said, real terror reflects real life. And now I don't do judgment. I don't do judgment because life is fucking difficult. And I see it every day. And again, it's either your story or yours. It isn't. So there you go. Libra, put in the comments as you see fit. Take care. Be well.